with regard to food shortage is going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia, it's in our country as well. You never thought you'd hear a president say, yeah, food shortages are coming, they're going to be real. The desire to monopolize, to transform food production and no buy, no sell. The bottom line here as it relates to prophecy. Revelation 13, when it talks about a time where buying and selling will be prohibited, restricted, it will be most effective always to control people's buying and selling when they are the most deprived. They will be the most willing and eager to give up their liberty in exchange for being taken care of. You could call it a form of satanic siege. Any system where you're trying to eliminate self-government, self-reliance. We do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. But there's a noble independence in country living, in the dignity of self-reliance, self-discipline, self-control. You can read about that in Child Guidance and in Adventist Home. I love those phrases. Noble self-reliance. We've got a country living message for a reason, and it's not just the practical aspects, though those are important. It's not just to retain some, some freedom and, and peace and prosperity during times where the world is crumbling. Most important are spiritual reasons. They're gonna to try to create scarcity, try to create starvation, actually, in the case of the Great Leap Forward. So in order to reset the table, you have to first turn the table over. You gotta create monopolization and food scarcity and disrupt the current system that again was reducing hunger and starvation, but we're gonna overturn that and you're gonna see how starvation is increasing. In other words, resetting the food system is another way to access data, acquire data, exercise surveillance, which then feeds into a system that can be reimposed as controls. And remember those who are outside the city, who are self-sufficient, who are raising their own provisions are the biggest concern to the World Economic Forum. But they say those outside the city are their version of those who are lost, they live different kinds of lives outside of the city. Some have formed little self-supplying communities. There are times coming, and they are here, that when we put our hands to the plow and to the soil, that the fruit of our labor, by God's miraculous power, will transpire. We're in the palm of God's hand. He is the almighty arm of sovereignty. We are just dust and ashes. We are just clay in the potter's hands, but we have a part to play. There will be a point where every earthly support will be cut off. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him and his waters shall be sure. That's a promise. That's a Bible promise. So there is no fear about the close of time of Earth's history. Food scarcity and monopolization, that one is big. It's happening right now. Energy scarcity, high-tech feudalism, economic catastrophe in the Great Reset, central bank digital currencies, civil unrest and the chaos strategy, and how all of these things combined are creating the environment, laying the foundation, building toward final events of Bible prophecy in Revelation 13, which is followed by the greater reset, the blessed hope.